Hello Eternum, this is that E guy, here with a video on the best spot to farm for the new legendary weapon materials. So just very quickly an update on the guides I'm working on and the data collection videos I'm working on. Unfortunately with 1.1, 1 .1, uh, a lot of stuff got changed, including a lot of undocumented changes. So as a result, like dozens of hours of work I've done recording and collecting logs are no longer up to date or relevant. So unfortunately, that means a big delay on all of those videos. But please try to understand. Um, I will try to have them out whenever I can finish them. So meanwhile, um, let's talk about this farming spot. The spot in question today is going to be an ebon scale reach. Uh, I will play the clip on me soloing a spot while going over why this is a good spot. So as you can see, uh, the mobs you're going to be killing, the first one is uh, Slayer Roslin, and they are both going to be weak to uh, ice and nature. So if you have a strong solo build, uh, you can solo them both relatively fast. But if you do not, all you need is to bring one friend with you and they are very easily doable. Um, I highly recommend you doing this in a group. And if you can, um, you can start killing them uh, faster than the respawn timer. The reason they are the best mobs for legendary, uh, mathematically, they are the best because uh, silver border elites have a way, way higher drop rate uh, than normal mobs and the way to get these legendary materials is to kill a lot of normal mobs but because these elites are on a one minute and a half timer and there's two of them right next to each other practically um, you can farm 40 of each uh, in one hour which leads to a crazy amount of drops so yeah as you can see, these are soloable, but I have a little bit of trouble um, killing them. And now I'm going to run back to the first spawn. And as you can see, when I get there, the Slayer Rosslyn won't have even respawned yet. So my calculation on 40 kills an hour is absolutely correct because I'm beating the respawn timer. And once again, you can do this so much easier with an extra player and you can get those legendary drops. So this is the log I took um, as we farmed the spot for a little over three hours. Um, we work in Ivan the Inevitable, uh, just a little side note in our rotation, because um, before Ivan has some of the worst drop rates possible. He was dropping one out of six, one out of five, but after the change, he became much, much more difficult to kill but his drop rate drastically increased and he has a valuable drop that's Artisan's uh, jeweler, Jewelcrafter's Tunic. So depending on what the price of this on your server is, this is now the spot to farm for it. So that's something else you can look up. Um, but if you only farm Slayer, Rosalind, and Mortician, you're going to get quite a bit of a legendary drops, I believe. And as our sample size with four of us combined is quite large. Uh, after three and a half hours, we linked all the drops. So um, as you can see, there's plenty of loot uh, that we got. And you can check this for yourself in the Google Doc I am going to attach and go down and click the legendary farm. So I got really fortunate during the farm. Uh, I got three of the drops from uh, the table and I managed to sell them overnight after uh, I recorded the initial footage. And uh, as I'm editing this, they sold off the trading post for 12K each. So this is really good profit. Now, I'm not gonna tell you that you can make 10K an hour. I know for a fact that there will be YouTube videos popping up after I release this with the exact, talking about the exact same spot and then telling you how profitable this is. They're gonna give you some bullshit number about how you're gonna go insanely rich from this spot. That's not how the economy works. Um, because this information is out there, the prices will go down. But if you're able to farm this in the first couple of days, 
you could potentially make a lot of profit. So please, please check your own market on your own server first before deciding if this is something you want to try. So this is pretty much the rundown on this spot. And uh, if you have any questions, please leave it down in the comment below. I will always try to answer uh, them when I can. I am trying to do a lot of different projects at the same time. And I am working full time as well in real life, uh, running an online store. So yeah, I will do my best. And thank you so much for watching. Um, as one viewer suggested, I should start a Discord and try to stream whenever possible. I am working on both of those things at the same time. And yeah, I will keep you guys updated when those things are up. Once the Discord is up, you can feel free to leave your questions for me there. And if I have new ideas or if I am making progress on something new, I can post it there so you can catch it uh, whenever it is out. So yeah, thank you so much for watching and please take care and good luck in your hunting.